If this video was different to what I usually do, I'm sorry about that. I'll blame it on the GoPro. Because accidents really are, I think, the biggest, most powerful thing in our popular culture. Hey, yo, Jay, wow. can we get some ratchet one time? Look, I don't wanna talk. How you try and press the kid and read it, you was soft. All you know is capping, homie, you don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. I just hit the stop, I don't wanna speak. I'm talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please. Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep. Watch me how I'm saucing, I be spreading it with ease. You gon' see the peace, you gon' see the flex when you hear these writings. Trust me, you know the difference. I got a long ways to climb before you see a slippage i see the process and the journey i'm supposed to be but perplexed because i don't really see nobody close to me hopefully this ain't wasted and i know it ain't you gotta take the time for seasoning to marinate you need the patience and the pressure just to detonate i'm trying to blow up and these heaters need to get it straight gifted with a vision and precision i'm just trying to make it high key might be breaking free like i was Zion in some nikes uh, tucked at the crib bro you know just where to find me making beats and spitting crack verses pretty likely yeah socks with the burst boy ain't changed a bit normal guy till i die you know what it is you probably thought i'd give up now that i got some kids but really now nah, i got these arrows aiming at your ribs i don't want to talk how you try and press the key and really you was soft uh, All you know is capping, homie, you don't know the law uh, Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park uh, I just hit the star, uh, I don't wanna speak Talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep uh, Watch me how I'm saucing, I be spreading it with ease You gonna see the peace, hey, you gonna see the Okay, what if there are some wheels That are called ice creams I'll explain. It's right now 8.27. Oh, how do I show you this? Yeah, it's right now 8.27. I am in Lisbon. I today woke up at 4.30. I left my place to come to Lisbon. I started skating around 7. And by now, I already skated, filmed it, and realized that what I have been filming didn't add sound. So, yeah, this is a bit of a different video. Now, I need to speak about these wheels and before I even go and start saying good or bad things about this I think it's important that you know that this is not a review basically you need to know that Flying Eagle the brand that makes these wheels uh, is now supporting this channel which I really highly appreciate and how did this whole thing happen well a couple months ago um, someone that used to work for Power Slide and later for for rollerblade nowadays works with flying eagle and contacted me and they asked me if i wanted to get any of their products to review at that time i got the off-road frames and i made a review of those off-road frames which i actually enjoy the product and i'm not saying that because they're not supporting the channel if you go and see the review i enjoyed it and apparently they did too because it it had a good amount of people watching it and I think people enjoyed that type of content so they ended up asking me if there would be any way for them to to collaborate with this channel they would like to support what I do so for someone who spends a lot of time doing these and obviously has a lot of expenses with doing this I, we came to a conclusion and that was I will be bringing uh, Flying Eagle products in, to this channel. I will tell people what I think about them. I will be fully honest. I really need to be fully honest about these products, but I cannot call them reviews because if there's a company that somehow supports what I do, it can't be a review because it's biased, such as I don't usually review micro products, which is the company that I work for, okay? This is something that I want to keep doing with my channel, so yeah it's not a review now speaking about these wheels what are the ice cream wheels well the ice cream wheels is one of the two new lines that flying eagle released of wheels and this is it's i think it's a cool concept because what they did is both the wheels have the exact same compound uh, and the wheels have the exact same profile they are available in different sizes i don't want to say anything wrong but i think it's 90 100 110 and 125 i think they are available in more than one color and 
you won't find this ice cream like the 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 pink one or the salmon one in in the same color as the crocanti let me explain about the concept not just the colors and all that the thing is the ice cream should give you a more smooth ride while the crocanti should give you a much stiffer more reactive if that makes sense right how did they do that well they did that not by changing the urethane but by having a different core this salmon or pink part that you see on this web and by changing the core by having a bigger core and having less tire the wheel will obviously react differently i said it a lot of times that um the urethane is extremely important it's not because it has a, le uh, a smaller tire a smaller white part that the wheel is going to be faster if you look at some racing wheels they actually have a big tire but they do have um, a bouncy insert like a ring made out of that bouncy balls uh, like this material similar to those bouncy balls in between the core and the tire that you have giving the wheel even more uh, rebound and the rebound is extremely important in order to get the wheel to roll faster now obviously a wheel like this one like the ice cream it's going to give you a smoother ride it's going to be more comfortable so if you're going to be riding in grounds like i did today in lisbon where there's like the cobblestone and stuff like that it will probably roll easier other than that usually i also like a softer compound for uh, sliding having a bigger tire doesn't necessarily mean that it's a softer compound okay these wheels they don't say what's their durometer they just say ice cream that's it these wheels don't say their durometer basically they have a big tire they do slide quite well what I do feel is a lot of times when I have like a, a, a smaller tire, when I want to try to slide, because I feel a lot more of the ground, it becomes a bit more unreliable. While when you have like a wheel that it's as a bigger tire, it somehow adapts to the ground, making it easier for me to slide. Now, I didn't find these wheels extremely easy to slide. I example I find uh, the rollerblade hydrogen wheels an easier wheel to start sliding especially straight out of the box but this is this is an amazing wheel it's like most of the times I always say that stock wheels they're usually not uh, really good wheels this is not a stock wheel this is an aftermarket wheel and I think it's it's good it's a good wheel it rolls good I have no complaints about this wheel. I like them compared to the wheels that I had on these frames previously. This is the icon frames. This is a I think it's a much better it's a much better wheel at least in my opinion. It's it's less less hard. Remember when I made a review about these skates I said they were noisy and all that. I, these ones didn't felt noisy. And other than that, something that I've never experienced before was bearings like these i've never skated ceramics and this is something that i actually wanted to watch to you guys to show it to you guys so I'm set i'm gonna roll it as fast as i can and then i press start start and now you see let's see for how long this goes i'm not gonna move anything One of those videos I, I would never expect to be holding a timer, a stopwatch, and some wheels spinning while I look at a camera. I'm sorry, but it's it's a thing. I've never had some skates with this amount of free spin. And I've had good bearings before, huh? Anyway, you know, while this is happening, let me just say something, which is if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel you can um, leave me a thumbs up if you like this video if you didn't like this video you can leave me a thumbs down but make sure to 
to drop me a comment saying what I didn't like. But if you like, let's just pull this up. But if you like, you can also <laughs> drop me a comment saying what you like about this video or what you want to watch in other videos. You can always become a patron and support what I do here. I really highly appreciate it. And I've been doing, I've been creating a lot of extra content for Patreon. So yeah, this week I posted one video every single day on my Patreon. Other than that, you can also become a member if it's something, it's, a, it's another way for you to support what I do here. And you can just press on that join button. And yeah, this is still spinning. See, before it was 224, this one is still going. It's consistent. still going anyway let me just finish this video as I finish every other video and there is by reminding you why we all started skating and that with pink wheels with blue frames with purple boots or with even with blue liners we all started skating because it's fun and now let's wait for this to stop it's still going 224. I think I'm gonna break the record before it was 224. Is it gonna go for 230? You're watching it live, my friends. It's insane. Wow. Imagine if this thing goes to three minutes. And stop. Oh. <sighs> I think it was like 2.45. I stopped at like three, four seconds later. It's like two minutes and 45 seconds. Wow. Cheers.